Welcome to the Chris Willis University of North Alabama Football Review. Here are your hosts, Jeff Hodges and UNA head football coach Chris Willis. Hello and welcome to the Chris Willis Show and University of North Alabama Football. I'm Jeff Hodges along with UNA head football coach Chris Willis and Coach Willis, we've reached the halfway point of the 2018 football season, and the Lions coming off a disappointing 30-7 to loss at Campbell. And I know uh, certainly not pleased with the outcome, but a little, uh, you know, big part of that was the first quarter, and I think you're more displeased yeah. with that, not the way you played the rest of the game. But the first quarter you came out, got behind 23 to nothing, and it was a, really a deficit you weren't able to overcome. Yeah, it was just like two different games. First quarter, uh, pretty much all the stats went up, uh, 23 to nothing. I think they had 193 yards of their offense. Uh, we uh, didn't score, and uh, then the second, third, fourth quarter combined, uh, I think we probably won in the stats, and, and the score was seven to seven. You know, uh, at the end of the day, you want to give yourself a chance to, to be there in the fourth quarter, and we took that away, or excuse me, they took it away in the first quarter. I have to give credit to Coach uh, Mentor and his staff and their, their, their football program. They got a good team. I knew that going in. Um, they're a really good team. They're going to win. Easily eight nine games I think this year I don't I don't know if they'll beat Kennesaw State and and maybe one other team but they're they're a good team they're what four and one and so that was a a challenge it was second best team on our schedule up to this point second best team we've played we feel like and we went in there kind of like North Dakota State too many mistakes out of the gate fell behind and uh, we just couldn't overcome it. I know you're disappointed with the way your team's played really the last two weeks. I know you felt like you played pretty well the first three weeks of the season, the last two weeks um, not as much, but a uh, chance to refocus this weekend. Four of your last five games at home uh, coming up. I know it's got to be nice just to be off the road for a little bit. It does. And, you know, that's, I didn't think about it until you said that. You know, we went four or five on the road. Now we're just flipping it. So we're, we're glad to be home. Uh, the travel has wore on us a little bit, you know, but uh, we're, we're – we just got to, you know, play a little better and do some things. You know, right now we're not getting consistent quarterback play. Uh, I watched the film and we had uh, opportunities up front to give him time to throw the ball. I thought the old line did some things there early to give him a chance. We just missed on some throws. We've got to get better there and we got to get better at defending the pass. It's been an issue all year. We're going to get those things corrected. I know we talked uh, previously about our the strain on the road games, but especially on your staff, not just the players, but you got a couple guys, Ben Thomas and Jacob Tucker. I know they've really uh, been burning the midnight oil and uh, basically yeah. just came back from Campbell and went right back to work for the West Florida game. Yeah, a lot of our guys, uh, that's just part of it when you're a graduate assistant. I've done it too. Um, you know, these guys, they come in from the road trip. They pretty much, they're here uploading the next film. They sleep in the office overnight on Sunday night. They get up and they're already here on Monday. And so it's just part of it. It's, it's part of the grind. It, it's gotten to us a little bit. Uh, we could use a bye right now, but, you know, we got to fight through it. This is football. Not everybody gets a bye. Sometimes you play 11 straight, 12 straight, whatever it may be. We've got one coming up, but we've got a, a stretch of three games here. We need to play better. That was our first taste of the Big South Conference. Of course, Campbell, a member this year. North Alabama will be joining next year. But a really great atmosphere at the game, and it was a nice uh, just day trip up and back. But uh, they had a great atmosphere there, and that's what we're going to be looking forward to in the future. Yeah, I mean, if that's a sign of way it's going to be, and Campbell's supposed to be about the middle of the pack, well, it's going to be a tough conference because uh, Kennesaw State's already doing their deal and having a good season in Monmouth, and you throw them in the mix. And I really haven't kept up with everybody, but – uh, it's going to be a tough league and uh, impressive. I was impressed by Campbell, a really good football team. We're going to take a quick break. We'll have more Lion football for you after this. There's a rhythm that flows here, from the way we live to the way we do business. It flows from the banks of the Tennessee River and echoes in the breeze, the downtown street corners, and the stereos that play pure muscle shoals gold. Since 1936, TVA Community Credit Union has been in tune with the very heart of North Alabama, watching families grow and dreams come true. North Alabama and TVA Community Credit Union, in perfect harmony. When you support Little Steve's Convenience Store, you're supporting a small American family-owned business. They, in turn, support our high schools, our community, and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks, and other items from Little Steve's, you're saying we believe in America. Little Steve's, 1320 North Pine Street, Florence. Little Steve's, where UNA shops. They say fortune favors the bold. But when your family legacy is built on persistence, fortune has nothing to do with it.
Budweiser and Jim Beam introduce the Budweiser Reserve Copper Lager. A rich lager aged on Jim Beam bourbon barrel staves with a toasted oak aroma and slightly nutty taste. Hints of vanilla and caramel rye are followed by a deliciously smooth finish. It's been a long time coming. Alabama's got the best in luxury hotels and golf, and the numbers to prove it. Number one out of all 333 Marriott's for golf. The Marriott Shoals Hotel and the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail at the Shoals. Number two out of all Marriott's for spa. Marriott Shoals Hotel and Spa. Luxurious rooms with a view of the Tennessee River, plus two world-class golf courses ranked in the top 10 nationally. Call 1-800-949-4444 today to book your reservations at the Shoals. Welcome back to the Chris Willis Show. Coach Willis, the Campbell game kind of started in a lot of ways like the North Dakota State game, exactly like you didn't want it to happen. But uh, you won the toss, you deferred. They were able to go down and score, uh, which happens a lot. You know, a team can score on its first possession. But then a big mistake by us, a uh, bad snap, uh, gives them a safety. They were able to score off that. And it really just turned the game against us right out of the back gate. It did. You know, sometimes that happens. You give up a score early, but you've got to respond. Uh, we, I think it was, if we, we punted and then – or I went for a fake punt at some point in the game, uh, trying to get some momentum going, and we didn't get it. It didn't end up costing us because they ended up punting it back to us. And we actually get a good return. But we have a 15-yard uh, late hit, and it backs us up. And now we get bad field position. And the very next play, we have a – they, you know, our guy said the D-line was calling out the snap count. You know, I, I don't know. But the ball was snapped. Quarterback wasn't ready. It went out the back, and then we ended up being a safety. Just all the things were happening right there. It happened so fast. Lead up, you're down nine to nothing. You're down sixteen to nothing. We should have picked the ball off and ran it back to make it sixteen to seven. Uh, we just too many missed opportunities. Uh, just a bad first quarter. Like you said, after the first quarter, it was seven to seven. Uh, basically, the rest of the game. You had two scoring opportunities and very uncharacteristic. We've been perfect in the red zone this season, but had two fumbles inside their ten yard line that cost us scores. Yeah, I mean that's two opportunities. We we haven't done that all year, you know, in all the games and. We had a good week of practice. Uh, no kid goes out there on this team wanting to fumble the football. That just sometimes those things happen. Uh, we just couldn't overcome those things. And, and you cannot have those mistakes against anybody. I shouldn't just say just against a good team. You can, anybody. You, the teams are not as good as Campbell. You know, we'll give them opportunity to win the game. But against a team like Campbell, uh, who I think is a really good team, uh, you, you dig yourself a big hole. It's time now to take a look at our first half highlights. They're brought to you as always by First Metro Bank. Gets a fist pump, now he makes his approach. The right-footed kick from the left hash is up. It will be a short kick. It will be fielded at the six-yard line by Roderick on the right side of the field. Jukes back right at the 20 towards the far boundary at the 25. Knocked out of bounds. That's where Campbell will start this ball game. One to the left on second and 10 from the 42. Design run with the quarterback, Smith. Runs behind his left tackle across the 40. Takes it towards the far boundary at the 35. Second and nine, they're calling it from the 25-yard line. Smith, a quick snap out of the shotgun on the left side. Wants to throw deep for Blockman in the end zone. Blockman had the step on Jackson. Makes the catch. Touchdown, Campbell. The Fighting Campbell score on their opening drive. Colin Gray on the kick for Campbell. The kick is up. The kick is good. The Fighting Campbells score on their first drive of the game. Seven to nothing, our score, 12 28 to play. Bird goes in motion to the left side to set up trips wide receivers left. Lopez to throw on third down, steps up, rolls right, wants to go towards the sticks. Fort Boykin makes the grab with his shoulder pad, shy of the 50 yard line of the field. Lopez on the right, hash hands off to Humphrey. Excuse me, that's Cox stretching out wide right, crosses the 50, lunges towards the first down mark. He'll join the other tight end in tight left. Again, Reed will take the handoff on second down, runs up the middle, greeted by Will Evans, slings him down. Third down for Campbell right here, third and four again. Hands off to Reed. Reed this time swallowed up. It's Broderick Martin on the stop. Motions Bird out of the backfield to the left, and the snap goes wide from Lopez into the end zone. He scoops it up and rolls out of the back of the end zone for a safety. I don't know if he wasn't ready or if Whitehead just snapped it long. And Campbell goes up nine to nothing off of the safety. 7.39 to play, not a good start for North Alabama. Smith awaits the first down snap, finally takes it. 
Play action fake, looks left, under pressure, almost sacked by Martin, escapes, rolls right, throws on the run, shy of the sticks, completes the pass. Couple of hard counts, takes it on the third try, he keeps it running right, green grass in front of him at the 20, 15 at the numbers, look at him explode at the five, into the end zone as he dives, hit by Chris Johnson, a 22 yard touchdown run from Daniel Smith and Campbell has opened this game up in the first quarter, 15 to nothing our score. From straight away, a good snap, a good hold, and it's a good kick, Campbell. Gifted two points from North Alabama, then the Camels add seven more, 16 to nothing our score, 316 to play here in the first quarter. Smith takes the snap at his helmet, throws left, almost intercepted. KJ Smith read it in and out of his hands into the Campbell bench. Wants the snap with two on the play clock, one, gets it off before it hits zero, rolls out right, chased from behind, throws, wide open, across the 25 as Blockman knocked it. First and 10 from the 21, Smith to throw from the right, hash throws right, and that pass is almost broken up, no call at the three by Roderick, and then he takes it into the end zone, excuse me, that was Jaquan Brooks, Johnson jumped it and somehow Brooks called it. Third time's the charm, that was Caleb Sneed. The extra point on the way from Colin Gary is good. And the Camel fighting Campbells with three touchdowns in this first quarter and a safety. And Campbell leads North Alabama 23 to nothing. 45 seconds to play in this first quarter. Field where he'll stand with Boykin. Lopez to throw, actually has time. Throws back right, catch made. In the hands of Boykin. First and 10 for North Alabama from the 42. Lopez has time to throw once again. Throws back left for Bird. Makes the grab at the 35. Here second and 15 from the 30. Hand off. No Smith will keep it. Runs behind the pulling guard. Wrapped up and thrown down by Aquarian Harris. Ball on the left hash. Lopez under pressure. Sets up the screen out to Polite. Has a block from Harden. Jukes back left. Left hash has a lane. He's at the 35-40 midfield. Look at him go. He's into Campbell territory. Chase down from behind. Now two wide receivers stacked in the slot left. Lopez has time to throw. Throws to the left for Bird. Comes back. Hauls it in. And he's wrapped up. Take, taken down at the 2-1 yard line. Lopez claps his hands. Low snap. It's off his foot. And I think Campbell just recovered it. Another problem with the snap. Three wide receivers right, two to the left. Smith, quick throw left, and it's almost intercepted by Joshua Monfo in and out of his hands. He read the route, incomplete pass. Lopez holds up two hands, gets a good clean snap, has time to throw. Now he'll roll right to buy more time. He's at the numbers 30, plants his feet, throws, threads the needle for Peavy, spins, keeps his feet at the 50. Look at him carrying defenders. Finish more projects with less. Lose the hose, the compressor, and gas cartridges. You don't need them. Experience total fastening freedom, brought to you by the Pro Preferred brand of nailers with Hitachi's line of 18-volt lithium-ion cordless nailers. They're powered by Hitachi's new compact 3-amp-hour battery that delivers all the power you need with half the weight you'd expect. And the compact 3 amp hour batteries are compatible with all Hitachi 18 volt slide type lithium ion power tools for even more flexibility. Tool free features like depth of drive, sequential or bump fire modes, and an integrated belt hook make these Hitachi cordless finish nailers convenient to use. Hitachi's 18 volt lithium ion cordless nailers shoot more nails per charge, deliver quick response time in between drives, and consistently set nails flush even at an angle. They're backed by Hitachi's lifetime lithium ion tool warranty for ultimate peace of mind. Time, a precious commodity. It marches on, ready or not. And no matter how hard we try, we can't get it back. It's important to invest your time in your most precious asset, to make time for life's big decisions. At TVA Community Credit Union, our electronic services help you spend most of your time doing things that matter most. TVA Community Credit Union, high quality for what matters most. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Chris Willis Show and wishes them luck in their Division I transition. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group, earning high profits in a short period of time selling TNT quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. And remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions!
When you support Little Steve's Convenience Store, you're supporting a small American family-owned business. They, in turn, support our high schools, our community, and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks, and other items from Little Steve's, you're saying we believe in America. Little Steve's, 1320 North Pine Street, Florence. Little Steve's, where UNA shops. Hey, friends. I'm Gene Solings. Are you looking for a place to watch the next big game? 306 Barbecue and Back Alley Sports is your spot. 306 has 30 HD TVs where the big game is always on. And Back Alley is a sports bar where the food matters. 306 Barbecue features fresh, off the pit barbecue along with all of your game time favorites. 306 Barbecue and Back Alley Sports where the food matters in historic downtown Florence. Welcome back to the Chris Willis Show. Coach Willis, it's time for our Players of the Week, and we'll start this week with our Scout Team Players of the Week. On offense is Tyler Price. On defense, Jamal Cox, and those guys really do a good job helping you get ready for Campbell. They do. You know, Tyler Price is a young running back. We, uh, we almost thought we were going to use him this year, but we got the – Damon's done such a good job, and so has Terrence. We didn't have to have him, and we want to redshirt him. And so it gives us a great look, and then Jamal's been around as Damon's brother been around with the team for a while, and he does a great job down there giving us a look on the other end, uh, helping the offense out with it, playing linebacker. Your uh, blocking award winner this week, uh, Cole Harden, had a good game, and then your big hit, Marcus Robinson, had a great hit on their quarterback. That may have been the only time we hit Daniel uh, yeah. Smith in the backfield all day. We didn't have much pressure. It's probably not the best game for our D-line. I would say it's probably their worst overall. Just didn't get any pressure. We couldn't get off the blocks, but it was a big lick. And I you know, would have liked to maybe that turn the game a little bit, maybe cause a fumble, but he was, his arm was coming forward. But still a big lick. Aquarian hey, Harris, your defensive player of the game. Aquarian with seven tackles in the game. Yeah, you know, the thing about Aquarian is he's Mr. Consistent. Uh, you know, there's probably people on paper that's got more numbers. But here's a guy who didn't practice all week, was out all week with concussion symptoms, and then he fought back and he come back and had a good game and was just – there when we needed him and, and did a good job. Your offensive player of the week and your Brink Apartments overall player of the game, Jacoby Bird, uh, eight catches for 73 yards, and he was a guy that had been injured, managed to get his way back in the game, and he's just been an outstanding receiver. Had some great catches again on Saturday. He did. He's uh, small, but he hangs in there and catches the football and does a great job. Another guy had been absent and then finally comes back in and gets his opportunity. But also I told the team this yesterday, he came over every day last week wanting to watch film on his own. And, he wanted to know the game plan, and that's why he plays like he does. He, he know, he's like a coach out on the field playing wide receiver. Great job by him. Jacoby Bird, your Brink Apartment player of the game. Here come your second half highlights from First Metro Bank. And Campbell kicks off from the left. Hash back deep to return for North Alabama as K.J. Smith signaling for the fair catch at about the two-yard line. Hall are the wide receivers to the left. Jacob Terry, the fullback, a good Chris Snap to Lopez. Throws out to Bird behind the line of scrimmage. Breaks a tackle at the 25. He's wrestled down at the 90 seconds into the third quarter. North Alabama trailing 23-0. Penalty marker down as Cox runs up the left. Hash explodes across the 40. Lopez on this drive opens up under center. First and 10 from the 18. Damon Cox, the running back. He jukes right counter back left now Cox will break it back right at the 30 cuts up midfield at the 20 30 carries the defender across the 35 yard line now eight seconds on the play clock as Lopez takes the snap on second down has to run up the middle under pressure he cuts it up at the 40 in between the numbers and the hash dives forward ball on the left hash third and four right here Lopez under pressure with the blitz comes, throws left, Bird hauls it in, hit immediately by Dorian Jones. Bird are on the right side as Bird motions to the left on second and 10 from the 47. Lopez airs it out left side to Bird, hauls it in. Four on the play clock, three, two, Bird. Actually, Lopez gets the snap off under pressure, steps up, runs up the middle behind Cox. He'll dive across the 15 yard. Tight right, three wide receivers left. Lopez hands off to Cox. He breaks it off after left tackle, breaks a tackle at the five, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Damon Cox. A 13 yard touchdown run for Damon Cox. His first touchdown of the season. I'm gonna throw that note away as North Alabama. <laughs> gets on the board. The extra point is up and good from Chandler Carrera. 5.33 to play in the third quarter. New life for North Alabama. 23-7 our score. On. Smith hustles to the line of scrimmage. First down here. Hands off to Reed. Out wide right. He stretches it. Cuts it up at midfield. Spins out of one. Tackle. And Tim, North Alabama walks an extra man up. Smith keeps it on the read. Tries to juke out right. Breaks out of one tackle. And finally Marcus Robinson helps finish him off. Now comes back set. Third and 10, under pressure, steps up. He'll run with it across the 35-40. He has the first down, middle of the field at the 30. Finally dives down at the 20. 
The back read goes in motion right. Smith will keep it, runs up the middle. There's your Aquarian Harris there to meet him in the hole. And trips wide receivers left. He'll roll left towards those wide receivers. Throws for the back corner of the end zone, and the catch is hauled in. Zach Roderick on the nine-yard touchdown catch. The snap, the hold, the kick. It's all good. And Campbell leads North Alabama 30 to 7. 61 seconds left in the third quarter. Lopez turns, opens up to Cox, jukes back right, middle of the field. He's at the 15. Upended as he crosses the 16 17 yard line. Second and three. Shotgun snap, hands off to Cox, right up the middle behind the center. Breaks one tackle. Set, he's alone. Now he motions Cox back in the backfield he spins steps up he'll run with it no he wants to throw now he'll tuck it and run he's at the 40 towards the una sideline shoved out of bound on second and six takes a good snap hands off to jones jones runs right up the middle again there's josh amonfo there also in on the stop it looks like it was frank williams today he'll take the handoff he runs up behind the left guard jukes back left Frank Williams, one of several UNA defenders. Smith with the ball on the left hash to throw. Has time, throws right. Jonathan Fletcher jumps the pass intended for Zach Roderick. Incomplete. Four-man front as he takes a snap at his helmet. He steps up under pressure, races away from the defensive lineman. He has the first down at the 40, spins away from a tackle. Campbell walks up a blitz. Weaver throws right after scanning downfield. Boykin comes back for it. Did he complete the catch as he goes out of bounds? They signal catch on the left. It's Bird and Boykin right as Hall under pressure. Excuse me, Weaver under pressure on first down. Now he'll tuck it and run right. And he sprints towards the North Alabama sideline. Weaver with a good snap. Hands off to Humphrey. Humphrey runs left. Carries a defender at the goal line at the three to the two to the one. He's in. Touchdown Terrence Humphrey. His second rushing touchdown of the season. Lopez, excuse me, Weaver under center. Hands off to Humphrey. Humphrey loses the football as he stops short. And the Camels have it. Racing down the field at the 30, the 35-yard line. It's Dorian Jones with it. There's that turnover to keep the streak alive. North Alabama can't get it in from the one-yard line. North Alabama looks to bring pressure. Smith will roll out right. Delayed handoff to Reed, who finally takes off with it. Breaks out of a couple of tackles. Running right across the fourth. Smith on second and 12. Takes the snap, hands off to Reed, stretches it out wide right. K.J. Smith comes flying in, misses on the tackle. North Alabama will let the clock run out. And Campbell playing at home here at Barker Lane Stadium will come away with the 30-7 win as the clock strikes zero. Coach Minter and Coach Willis trot out to midfield to shake hands. And Coach Minter has a great program. The two head coaches hug, exchange handshakes. Hey friends, I'm Gene Solix. Are you looking for a place to watch the next big game? 306 Barbecue and Back Alley Sports is your spot. 306 has 30 HD TVs where the big game is always on. And Back Alley is a sports bar where the food matters. 306 Barbecue features fresh off the pit barbecue along with all of your game time favorites. 306 Barbecue and Back Alley Sports where the food matters in historic downtown Florence. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Chris Willis Show and wishes them luck in their Division I transition. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group, earning high profits in a short period of time selling TNT quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. And remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! Alabama's got the best in luxury hotels and golf, and the numbers to prove it. Number one out of all 333 Marriott's for golf. The Marriott Shoals Hotel and the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail at the Shoals. Number two out of all Marriott's for spa. Marriott Shoals Hotel and Spa. Luxurious rooms with a view of the Tennessee River, plus two world-class golf courses ranked in the top 10 nationally. Call 1-800-949-4444 today to book your reservations at the Shoals. Time, a precious commodity. It marches on, ready or not. And no matter how hard we try, we can't get it back. It's important to invest your time in your most precious asset, to make time for life's big decisions. At TVA Community Credit Union, our electronic services help you spend most of your time doing things that matter most. TVA Community Credit Union, high quality, 
for what matters most. When you support Little Steve's Convenience Store, you're supporting a small American family-owned business. They, in turn, support our high schools, our community, and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks, and other items from Little Steve's, you're saying we believe in America. Little Steve's, 1320 North Pine Street, Florence. Little Steve's, where UNA shops. And welcome back to the final segment of this week's Chris Willis Show. And Coach Willis, hopefully the Lions can retire the tag of Road Warriors. You've been on the road for the first five games of the season. For the final five, going to be at home and really a good chance to, at midpoint of the season, to evaluate kind of where we are and you know, where we need to make improvements going forward. Yeah, as a coaching staff, we looked at ourselves after five games hoping to be, you know, I, you know, we'd like to win them all by all means, but we, we were like, let's be at three and two at worst. Uh, we know we easily could be sitting here one and four. You know, we had pulled some games out at the end, but we got it done, and we are three and two. I think we probably swapped Campbell and Southern Utah. We didn't know how that first game would go, and and so Campbell turned out to be, you know, probably a little bit better than Southern Utah. But we're three and two, five games left. I don't know if there'll be a replacement game. That's still probably up in the air. But right now, all I know is I got five on the schedule. Four of them are at home. They're all winnable games. Uh, we want to try to go eight and two this year. We're going to do the best we can to make that happen. But we've got a tough game coming Saturday. This game here is maybe the third to fourth toughest game on the schedule. This is a very good football team. The Lions with the ninth toughest schedule in the FCS so far this season. Last year you played the toughest schedule in Division II and it uh, doesn't seem like you ever get a week off or a, a lesser opponent. But again, West Florida's going to come in ranked. It'll be the third ranked team you face this year. I know. We have to start looking at some of these schools we're, we're scheduling that we don't have to play and check the rankings. But yeah, West Florida, you know, here we go again. Here's a team that played for the national championship. We got a lot of guys back, almost the whole team's back. They are going through a different quarterback right now. The starter got hurt. I don't know if he'll be back for our game. They've had a transfer from Georgia playing. He looks really good. Uh, they run the ball. They're just a really good football team. They're, that GSC is really strong this year. I think there's four or five teams battling out over there, and they're right in the middle of it. It's going to be fun to watch how that all develops. And uh, That's a tough league, and so I know that because we've all been there before. And uh, we got to be ready to go. We got to worry about what we can do and control what we can do. I can't worry about West Florida. I got to worry about my team and w w how we perform. I know you've been trying to develop depth during the season, but you've had a lot of injuries. Not people necessarily out for the year, but a lot of guys dinged up and hopefully uh, able to get some of those back this weekend, get a little bit healthier. Yeah, you like to see Jalen Daly get back. He tried to go, wasn't able to go, and he's kind of our, you know, he's our main captain on defense. He's the guy everybody kind of uh, plays off his energy, and uh, we could use him if he could go this week. We're going, we'll know more probably by Tuesday or Wednesday. And offensively, I know you're looking for an extra spark and uh, may look at Chris Weaver a little more this week along with Christian Lopez. Yeah, we would like to have gone with Weaver a little bit more Saturday. Um, just something I find out right with game. He's sick. I've never seen the year of sicknesses. And uh, he was ill, doing, feeling good. We, he left yesterday the complex sick, and so – We'll just have to see uh, going forward where he is. Uh, we've had more spider bikes and coals this year than, than I've ever seen on a football team. But we're, we're going, we're, we'll be ready. Lopez will be ready. We'll have, we'll have plenty of weapons to go. Lions at home against West Florida, Saturday night, 6 o'clock at Brawley Stadium. Join us again next time for the Chris Willis University of North Alabama Football Review.